Havana Vieja, or Old Havana, is a main attraction for foreign tourists. Part of the experience is driving around in classic vehicles. The national capital is eye-catching and draws crowds year-round. Other architectural gems include the Museum of the Cuban Revolution. As December approaches, the number of tourists here now is starting to hit a high point. Tourism is a motor for the Cuban economy. Last year alone, in 2015, the Cuban government estimates that some 3.5 million foreigners visited this incredible place. Walking around the streets of Old Havana, you begin to get a real sense of how the death of Fidel Castro is affecting tourism. Mike Gulbra leads a photo tourism group from the United States. He says Castro's death presents unusual experiences he would not have otherwise. For example, the, the memorial last night at the square for the signing of the book, and then tonight the gathering at the square, uh, I believe Revolution Square. We're going to be there with probably millions of people, which if Castro is not gone, you don't have that experience. The arches of the Plaza Vieja, the old plaza, are another must-see. Many restaurants are prohibited from selling alcoholic beverages as this country observes nine days of mourning. Still, Café El Escorial did well selling world-famous Cuban-style espressos. Howard Parkin came to Havana on a cruise liner from the United Kingdom. And there's obviously a lot of respect for the death of Castro by the local people, and you've got to respect that. It's not affecting our visit. It's going to be one of those things that we'll always remember where we were on the day that Castro died. As Cuba observes Castro's death, life goes on here, perhaps at a slightly slower pace than usual for everyone, including tourists. Frank Contreras, Havana, Cuba.